pronounce LCBO or Lickbo? Who the f*** is <laughs> Lickbo? No, nah, actually, my, my aunt says Lickbo. I know. Because I was like, yo, I was searching uh, for theories and shit. Yeah. And then, like, randomly a subreddit came up. as like, my boyfriend pronounces LCBO as Lickbo. And I was like, wait. Yo, for the Americans, LCBO is, like, our, the only the place we can get alcohol. Yeah. It's the beer store and LCBO. Like, the mm-hmm. only two places we can get alcohol. Because yeah. we don't... Take in the States. They have, like, liquor stores. You can just get oh, liquor yeah. anywhere. Yeah. But here... You have it has to be from those two spots because yeah. it's like something with the government, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like taxes or some shit. Yeah, something like that. That's, That's what they're trying to do with weed too, bro. I know. That's why duty free the spot. See, they're smart, bro. They're smart. Yo, the thing with alcohol, right? Yeah. Taken, it was it was like it was banned. Mm-hmm. It was prohibited, and they only allowed it when the government started taking like taxes from it. Or yeah. like taking a cut from sales. Mm-hmm. That was the only time they allowed it. Take that in. Because remember the prohibition? Mm-hmm. It was because all of these underground, the criminals were making a lot of money off yeah, alcohol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was when they got cheese. Yeah. That's when they're like, fuck that. Yeah. We're taking over. We want a cut of every single sale of alcohol. You know what um, my favorite show was? Um, Moonshiners, the Moonshiners. Have you watched those? Oh, I haven't watched so, that. So they would that. be in like a really deserted area mm-hmm. and they would just make moonshine. Which is like Word. some type of liquor, I think. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like homemade liquor. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and then the police yeah. would try and catch these guys because obviously it's illegal. Mm-hmm. And there's like, uh, I love those episodes. Where it's like, yo, yo, police are right there. Shut it all down. Right? Oh, yeah. So they would bury all the moonshine in the dirt. Wait, wait, hold on. How did they allow that? How did they, how they allow that on TV if it's illegal? That's what I'm saying. Yo, <laughs> half the stuff, half the stuff that they show on TV, I was yeah. like, yo, how are they putting this on TV? Like, why is it public? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. L- like, you know, um, the Vice drug documentaries? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. is that shit on the internet? No, but that that's like, like, um, infomercial, they, I no, they keep it, they, they put like the blurry shit and then they they, they cover their voice, like his oh, voice yeah. is protected by you know, what I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for like safety Hala purposes. Hala Deep is like, <laughs> my, my mom and dad used to watch America's Most Wanted, like. All America's every night. Most wanted. You remember that shit? I think I have watched that. It's like it's like America's most wanted, um, either like terrorists or like criminals oh, or okay, like yeah, serial yeah. killers yeah, and yeah. shit, right? I have, yeah. 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 Whatever happens to that, bro. Yo, wait, wait, hold on. Is there is there like a is there like a Canadian version of that? Cause you know how they have the FBI most wanted, but FBI is American. So is there like a Canadian version of that shit? I don't know. You don't know, right? No. Yo, yo, yo. Um, I don't know if you looked into it, but there was this thing in Pickering, right? Yeah. And um supposedly there was like a serial killer in Pickering? Oh yeah. I, I <laughs> you heard about, about that, yeah. right? Yeah. And then they found like the the house on the back roads. Where they had like the dungeon. Okay, I didn't know about this. You didn't know about that? No. So they had like a dungeon. It was like literally a farmhouse in their basement with chains, with skin, with water tubs and shit. Yeah, yeah. And then it was meant to be like, it's soundproofed everything. It's meant to hold somebody there, bro. What? Yeah. When was this? When was this? This was like a long time ago. I feel like, I feel like this was like, mid 2000s something okay, like that yeah. because like yeah because pickering like it's known for like being chill i feel like this is like the suburbs suburbs because like mm. nothing goes on but like if you really think about it like there was a guy like i think um the rexall yeah yeah or the maxes you know the convenience store mm-hmm. it got robbed by a bunch of kids oh really yeah yeah just like recently oh shit and like um our friend who got um uh, almost jumped by a guy in a white van yeah for, and they're like yo yo oh you, yeah i remember that yeah, it was eric and bg there uh two guys jumped out the van with bats mm. and they're like yo give me your uh bikes mm. so what our friends do they they, they ran off you yeah. know what I mean? but like that's that's the crazy thing because they started following mm. it's like you can never be too sure like anything could happen yo i feel like because pick pickering's kind of the outside of, of yeah, the main city yeah. so it's a little bit more a little bit more back con- a little bit yeah. a little bit i'm not saying it's like the fucking country <laughs> but you know what i mean you know how yeah. you know you have those those outsider cities yeah. and then like that's where that's where the fucking weird shit happens yeah that's where you see like the serial killers that's where you see because it's easy to get away with <laughs> there nothing goes on here that's why i was like okay why not put it something here mm-hmm. you feel me yo so take this in me sharon and sophia yeah. you guys are gonna see this on the vlog okay, okay. we went Rando Nautica, right? Yeah, yeah. Bam. We went Rando Nautica. Uh-huh. It brought us to like this next back road. Oh, yeah. It literally, I never been to this area before. It's mm-hmm. so secluded and shit, right? Yeah. It was on like a, like a crop field. Mm-hmm. Like, a, you know, where they plant shit? Like the farm. Yeah. And it took us down a path onto the way to like a tree line, <laughs> right? Bro, on the way there, yeah. we found like a woman's boot. What? A woman's like shoe fam. Okay. And then there's like garbage bags and shit. Like, yo, okay. if there's a dead body in there, we're gonna, no. I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, like yeah. y'all will find out. Okay. And then we saw more shit, but I don't want to like spoil what did, it. What did you manifest? What, Cause you, did you, did you, did you get Yo, the that's app? the thing. We didn't even, man- I, I don't think we did it right, but we did <laughs> manifest like the last one. What would you guys say? We just like, we want to see something 
scary. You okay. said that. You said yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. But is that how it works? Yeah, you have to all because there's an app, right? And before you press it, you got to be like, all right, let me see something like dead bodies. Mm. Bob. And you press it and they'll lead you there. Yeah. But Loki, I know you're always thinking about it's whatever you're thinking about. And I know if if you're geo nodding, you're trying to see the most crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, <laughs> I know that like your energy and everyone's energy was like, okay, well, I want something exciting for the vlog. Mm. Boom, let's do it. Damn, that's cool. Um, is that that that's like the instruction? Yeah, so yeah, like that's the instruction. Yeah, we, we we did this thing. We're like, all right, put your fingers together. We gotta think yeah. about some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's yeah. how you do it. Exactly. Because I, I I watched a video before and like okay, because uh -huh. the first two were like, all right, well, whatever, we'll just try it. Yeah, yeah. And the last one were like, okay, we really gotta think about this one. That's where <laughs> yeah. it brought us to like the next spot, bro. Okay, yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, but I remember you were telling me like, oh, you should go to like an abandoned place, like Ontario place. Yeah, let's or do what it. Is? No, but I read up on it. You can't go in anywhere. It's like security 24 seven. No way. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, Center Island, mm -hmm. you can go, you can go take a boat and while it's closed and you can walk around. Yeah, you can do that. You can, if I you have your own boat, you can, you can just chill yeah, there. I didn't know that. Yeah. But like, imagine going there at night. Yo, I, I always wanted to go to like, um, I seen these videos all the time, like yeah. Chuck E. Cheese at night and shit. Like, you know, you know, I, Five I've Nights at Freddy's. I always wanted to do that. But like we can't though. Like how you get arrested, gonna... bro? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, there's this guy, this YouTuber. He used to do 24 hour challenges, Where? like in oh, Walmart yeah. and freaking uh, Toys R Us. The, the two Asian guys, right? Ricky Johnson and um. Nah, nah, it's some oh, okay, white okay. guy. Oh yeah, yeah, the so, ball, the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, that guy, that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he he did he did it everywhere. Yeah. He went to the he did it at the mall. <laughs> Yo, imagine you do that at like Eden Center or some shit. Yeah, yeah. they canceled him though. Oh, they did. All of it was fake. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the thing. But I know exactly what you're talking about. I used to to watch, binge watch all this Yo, stuff. it's exciting, fam. It's exciting. <laughs> Did you know uh, the one uh, in McDonald's playground for 24 hours? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that one, that one must have been so awkward because it's like, a like there's man. still people because for sure that McDonald's isn't closed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that means like people are still there. You just see the, the grown ass man yeah, going into the <laughs> <laughs> going into the slide and shit <laughs> and he's chilling there imagine like you get caught mm. like, oh, excuse me sir please get down yo even though it's fake though mm -hmm. like for example reality tv yeah. or wrestling it's mm -hmm. still entertaining i love reality tv right yeah. it's still entertaining well what are your what are your thoughts on like even though it's fake you still you still watch it yeah because you know um lamello balls um what do you call this ball in the family oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah i love that shit it's like their, their daily lives but i know some shit is plotted mm -hmm. out but it's still like entertaining but that that's how you kind of have to get it because like if, if you're just regular life yeah. i don't think it's that entertaining you know i guess so yeah even oh. it, yeah my bad what no, you gonna say survivor I don't think that's is that reality TV. I, I think know. that's real though. I think that's real. Wait, wait. Are you talking about Survivor? Survivor, the the one where they're like on the beach and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or are you talking about Survivor, the survival guy? Survival. You know, like Les Dive. Stroud or like Bear Girls. Oh yeah, Bear Girls. Yo, taking yeah. that shit is, is is staged, eh? What? That shit is staged. No. Yeah. So so he they he has like a crew with him. Yeah. That no, like hangs has, back. Yeah. But. And come on, bro. Yeah. The camera and shit. <laughs> He's not holding the camera himself. No, no, no lie. When I was a kid, I was like, wait, who's holding the camera? And like, if he gets into trouble with like some bear, yeah, like there, there's obviously gonna be a second like plan, mm, you know? He's yeah. definitely got someone to call. That's true, that's true. Cause what if he actually gets lost? <laughs> <laughs> no, cause if you have the whole camera crew with you, yeah. no way it's real. And he's getting dropped off from an airplane. From yeah, people yeah. he knows, so it's like that. That airplane is definitely like scouting him the whole time. Mm -hmm. type shit. Would you do that? Would you Would you go on one of those like expeditions <laughs> type shit? If everything's planned for me, like okay, at this time you're gonna kill a bear. <laughs> like yeah, I would do. Okay, that. well, what if what if like your only food was the shit you can find in the woods or like wherever you are? Bro, to be honest, because then then fuck it, bear girls gonna make you eat a bug, bro. He's gonna yeah. make you eat worms. I know. The Marshawn Lynch episode. <laughs> oh, I didn't watch that one. I didn't that was watch the that funniest one. one. It's like, yo, let's kill a pig. He's yeah. like, I ain't going there. <laughs> I, I'm not doing that shit, bro. You think yeah. you could do that? You think you could you could eat like a spider, bro? No. No? Nah? No, bro. If, if like you had nothing else to eat and you had to survive, you wouldn't eat a spider? I don't I usually don't even eat my like my mom's Filipino food, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Like, the new Guan fam, I'm not eating that, bro. Like, you don't like that? No, I'm just gonna get like Uber Eats. You feel me? <laughs> so how am I gonna survive in the woods? I'm, nah, gonna, I, I'm being completely honest. I'm not gonna lie. I I didn't. I used to not eat that. How do you say it? Din, din the new Guan. Guan? Yeah. Yeah. It's I, pork yeah. Yeah. It's it's pork. It, the people that don't know, yeah. it's literally like it looks like chocolate. It's chocolate meat. It looks like chocolate meat, yeah. but it's not chocolate, dog. Yeah. It's it's pork blood. It's like straight cute, up pork. Like yeah. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. So for the longest time, like I wouldn't eat it. Fam, I gave it a, I gave it a chance. Yeah. I gave it a chance. I'm like, it's not bad. Yeah, I did too. But like at the same time, I can't eat it all the time. Yeah, it's bad for you though. It's bad it's for super you. Super bad. Like, cholesterol. 
bro, fam, it's yeah, crazy. That's just bad. But yeah. most Filipino food in general is yeah. terrible for you. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't been, get, been canceled by like Filipinos because we always talk bad about that. Like, no, we're <laughs> Filipino though. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. We're Filipino. So we so. can talk about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like Russell Peters. Russell Peters makes fun of like all the different cultures, but he's yeah. brown. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's brown. Yeah. You, can't, you can't knock on Russell Peters. Yeah, that's true. I'm surprised we haven't been uh, called up to the, do those uh, PSAs. Well, PSAs. The, the Stop Asian Hate. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're we're kind of big. I don't know if they want us though. <laughs> <laughs> the shit we say on here sometimes because yeah, because i remember bobby lee was was also like complaining like he's not on there too but you feel me he's a comedian yeah i don't know, I don't know if they want us though. i know they won't take us seriously i know but we're pretty big man like we we have a good impact on the youth get us on those psas man i'd be down bro i'd be down. yeah hell yeah yo but going back to uh, like filipino food fam yeah i got i gotta talk about this but mm-hmm. i recently went to the hospital i recently called 911 and like oh, went yeah. to the hospital right, yeah go tell that story so <laughs> all right this is what happened this is yeah. what happened keep in mind the night before this happened <laughs> the new go on <laughs> nah dog so i was at my cousins yeah. they had they had kanji queen so mm-hmm. chinese food yeah they had my cousin made like taco crunch wrap <laughs> yeah so i had that too they had pizza fam yeah. and on top of that to top it off later in the night we ordered McDonald's, bro. Oh, that, <laughs> GG for your blood pressure, man. Yo, so keep in mind, like, I've been, I've like, I'm getting tested for high blood pressure and shit because mm-hmm. my mom and dad have it. That's what sucks. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's not, it's not from what I've done. It's, it's like hereditary, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously I've got to like watch my blood pressure. Bro, so I was downtown. Yeah. We were walking on the street mm-hmm. and then I was like, my chest is hurting right yeah. my chest was hurting and then i'm like shit and then all of a sudden i'm like okay you know what it's probably it's probably something i i just slept on a wrong yeah. side of the bed mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's probably nothing just the way i'm breathing yeah and then not even like not even like 30 seconds later yeah boom i got like a big rush of uh, adrenaline yeah adrenaline straight to my dome bro i'm like yo what's going on man yeah. i was scared mm-hmm. fucking scared and then i'm like all right call 911 yeah. so shorty called 911 for me mm-hmm. And then, like, that was the first time I ever been in that situation where, like, am I going to die? Yeah. That was really the first time. I'm like, I never felt this before. Mm-hmm. My, my, my heart is racing. I feel chest pain. I feel, like, all this adrenaline. It's, it's, it's a different adrenaline. Like, you know when you play sports and shit? Oh, yeah. It was like that. But then, like, vamped up because you feel like you're going to die, yeah, bro. Yeah, no. I've been in that position too, fam. Tell them your heart rate or whatever that was. Bro, so. <laughs> tell, them, just, tell them the normal and then tell them what yours was. Yo, so the normal is like what? Like 120, 120. over 70, something yeah. like that. So I went in, the, they took me into the, the ambulance yeah. and they checked my blood pressure 202 over like 88 or something. That's but, crazy, bro. So, so keep in mind, I have high blood pressure, right? Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, maybe it's because of that, right? Yeah. But later on, this is what happened. They brought me mm-hmm. to the hospital. They did the checks, ECG, um, blood test, everything. Yeah. I'm clean, mm-hmm. right? I'm clean. They told me I still have to do like other tests later on to, just to make sure. Yeah. But at the emergency, they said, okay, you didn't have a heart attack. Right. You didn't have anything like that. You're okay. Mm-hmm. But what we think what happened was an anxiety attack, bro. Oh, word. It might have been an anxiety attack. Really? Like a panic? Yeah. And that was the first time I ever had like an anxiety attack. Like ever. What were you doing downtown? Were you just like, were you holding a camera? No, we were just, we were just walking. Chilling? I think what happened yeah. was when I got like the chest pain, uh-huh. that's when I freaked the fuck oh, out. Oh, so it's like you're panicking. Yeah, okay, I, I get freaked it. the fuck out. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. I think I'm, I think this is real, right? Yeah. And then that's when the adrenaline spike happened. And I think I had a panic attack. That's what that's what triggered it, bro. Holy s- No, when you texted the group chat, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Like, the, that's the first thing I thought about was like, your health, obviously. Yeah. Second thing was like, yo, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, but like, it, it's a decent story, you know? Yeah, it is. Bro. Yeah, a decent but, but story. I've, I've had that same shit where it's like, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. Because like, I remember one, it was like early morning Taekwondo practice, right? Mm-hmm. I barely ate anything. I, I ate like one pancake and went off to practice. Oh, man. Right? So it's like 9 a.m. Yeah. Bro, tell me why that day we did the most intense cardio, crazy oh, ass workout. Fuck. So so I think it was 30 minutes into the workout. I start seeing white spots. Right? Oh, like in your vision? In my vision. Oh, man. And that's never happened to yeah, me before because yeah, yeah. my cardio is always good. Mm-hmm. Right? So I'm doing the workout. I'm doing the workout. It becomes bigger. Right? Mm. Uh, it becomes bigger. And then I was running and I lost my sight completely. Oh, shit. So so I panicked because I was like, am I blind now? Yeah. Because like, I, I couldn't, I didn't know where to go. Mm. I'm like, Master Ian, I can't, I, I can't see nothing. Like, yeah. what is happening? And I was about to faint. Like, I got pale. My dad said I was turning pale. I fainted on the couch. Oh, shit, you fainted? Yeah, on the couch. Fuck. Yeah, I woke up. I was like, oh, well, what happened? Everyone's telling me, yo, yo, like, drink some water. Yeah. Yeah, but that it's- was the, the moment I lost my vision. I was like, wait, what's going on? Mm-hmm. I started panicking crazy. You didn't eat. 
That's why. Yeah. Damn. And after that, I ate every. I did. I hated that feeling of like not seeing. Yeah. Type shit. That's crazy, yeah. bro. Because for me too, like I was. I felt like I, w- I was going to collapse. Yeah, yeah. That's the moment I had that all <laughs> adrenaline. I was like, yo, I'm going to collapse. Like yeah. I'm calling on one right now. I'm going to drop on yeah. the floor. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's when it's so scary, bro. Cause like, it's like, you're so unsure. Yeah. And low key, that's, those, that's probably like what it feels like the last moments of life. I mean, I know. Like, <laughs> that's why, that's why I low key, I don't get um, the mans who black out when they drink. Oh, that's why. Because I, I hate that shit. Like, those mans are like, just get blackout drunk. Mm. Like, well, you don't know if you're going to wake up that shit. Or like, you don't know if you're going to get alcohol poisoning. Like, yeah, like, but. Like, that's crazy. I know. But sometimes, sometimes they don't, they don't plan on it, you know? They don't plan on it. I mean, that's just control. That's just self control, you know? Okay, but, but what if you're like five shots in? Then self self control. I mean, you lost it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because because like depending on your character, right? Yeah. Depending on how how hard you party. Yeah. Like if you go in like fucking five shots, you're already tipsy. Yeah, but you should know, fam. Like if you're a lightweight, like one of our friends who did pass. Away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like dog if you're like weigh 100 pounds fam mm-hmm. don't go and and down a bottle of kraken bro yeah like that's just not the way that's just not the move yeah i know but but yo when you're young like you still gotta learn I mean, that shit, shit. but yeah, yeah drink responsibly yeah drink you, responsibly. you know um i think in the philippines a uh, red horse mm-hmm. you know red horse there, there's this theory that there's always so in a pack of 12 yeah there's always one smiling red horse bottle no way is it yeah so it's like it adds an extra kick no so, way. so in that smiling one if yeah. you pick it out and you're friends you get an extra kick and you become way more drunk than everyone else really so it has yeah. like a shot yeah <laughs> so <laughs> like it's, it's really rare that now that you find it because i think they banned it it was like mm. a for local like you can't take that shit oh yeah like yeah. it was that makes like, sense literally like punched with like bare alcohol that's sick though yeah i, I never heard of something like that <laughs> imagine like i got the smiling horse <laughs> Let's go, dog. Yo, whoa, what's what's the drunkest you ever been, fam? Drunkest? I don't drink, bro. You don't? No, <laughs> like me before though. Before I don't know. I don't know. I think. Oh, at the frat, the Halloween frat party that, that we went that to? same that same party. Oh, that was with you. No, no, I think uh, the one where you went up as a 6'9". Oh, you, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I think that one was the first time I drank a bit more, mm. and then like my my stomach. Yeah. felt warm <laughs> and, oh. I, I loved and i was like yo this is kind of a sick feeling mm-hmm. but then i knew i was kind of getting dizzy yeah, right? yeah i know my limits if mm-hmm. i'm not gonna drink no more yo you ever you know um pirates of the caribbean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you ever you ever wonder like no when you were little you watch pirates of the caribbean and they always see, drink no you see captain jack sparrow oh. when i was little i never i never took in that yeah. he was drunk that's why he acts what? like that i never took that in really yeah because i just thought i just thought that's like his character like that's just how he acts, but he's drunk. That's how he acts like that. I didn't know that till now. Bro. Oh, you didn't know that either. No, no, no. But it Wait, makes sense. Is they, that why Captain Morgan is the the pirate? Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh, it just aligned now. Yeah, Captain Morgan the. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because because uh, pirates used to drink rum, yeah. and that's why Kraken, all the rum brands are like the popular ones. Oh, it's all that? pirate, bro. Oh shit! You know back that? No, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, but when I was little, I didn't really take in like, oh, that's why he's acting like that. Yeah, because he's. He's drunk. I never, because I'm little, right? Yeah. I'm young. I was so innocent. I didn't think like, oh, he's he's just acting funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and then I look back now. I look back it's now. Like, that makes sense. Yeah, no, I look back now and then I look at like some people that I know, like when yeah. I was younger. Uh-huh. Damn. Maybe some, sometimes when they were acting weird, yeah. they were probably like high or some shit. Word. That makes sense too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you know, I don't want to like, flame anybody but uh-huh. you ever been in a room with somebody Who's that it? acted weird like when you're young and you're like why are they like that <laughs> no it makes sense like they're always just moving kind of like weird. off yeah like off. Off. It's off. They're acting off right you think they're high <laughs> no that makes sense because like okay think about it think about it yeah. when you're a kid you never knew whether someone was high or not. You know, you just thought like, oh, they're acting funny. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, if, if we're at a fam jam, I know who's drunk. Yeah, Type exactly. Like, like the, the exactly. <laughs> yeah, low key. But now it all makes sense. So every time I see, so every every time I see those people again, I'm like, yeah. oh, so that's why you're like that before. <laughs> when I was when I was young, I, I I realized that um the Titos are way more funnier. I, I didn't know they were drunk though, <laughs> but now it's kind of crazy to me. It's like I know you guys are drunk, bro. Yeah, yeah. like like chill out, bro. That, that's that's what makes them funny though. Yeah, that's yeah. what makes like them you funny. know the, when the Titos get drunk, like they start dancing and they do that all that weird shit. Mm-hmm. Like as a kid, you find that funny, but now it's like oh, it's whatever, bro. Yo, there was this one thing my my Tito used to do. <laughs> yeah, he used to always like do magic tricks and shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, you ever you ever had that? You ever had that like? Uh, I had the one cousin yeah. <laughs> who came with like the the hat and shit, and like he would do magic tricks for the like the people at the party. Oh, we're not. My, my Tito did Tito magic, fam. This is what oh. he did. <laughs> He'd come up to me. Yeah. 
to your ear. Yeah. Boom, chocolate bar. <laughs> no, I did have those vans. <laughs> I did have those vans too. And that's like, yo, what the or fuck? like it comes out your nose or some shit. Bro, when I was little, I was like yeah. mesmerized, fam. I was yeah. like, holy shit, Jesus. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, like literal <laughs> miracles or something. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I dead ass had that same Tito that did that to us too. Because when you're younger, bro, it's like everything is so, yeah. how did you do that? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's why, that's why if you're young or like if you have kids, you should bring them to Disneyland. Oh, yeah. You got to bring them to Disneyland. Because yeah. when I was when I was little, I think I was three years old. That was when my mom brought me to Disneyland and yeah. Universal Studios. <laughs> And Universal Studios, they had like the Marvel shit too. Yeah. So everything there I thought was real. I'm like, yo, that's really Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that's really fucking Wolverine, yeah. <laughs> right? That That's really like real ghost in Haunted Mansion, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But when you're little, like everything is so, it's it's spectacular. It's like yeah. amazing. Any, and if you have kids, bring you got to bring them there first. Yeah, like, I know. While they're young, while they're for young. For sure, for sure. Because that, I, I feel like at a certain age, like you start, you, okay, that's all fiction now. Mm -hmm. That's all a fairy tale, you know? But I had, um, speaking of Disneyland, when I went there, you know how all the characters, yeah. they give you autographs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I thought they were the real characters. Like, oh my God, they're in real life now, mm -hmm. right? So Lily, I have a hundred page book of yeah. me going up to every character and, and giving me their autograph. Damn, I don't know really? where, where it's at now, but like I dead out like, mom, Pooh's right there. I need his autograph. <laughs> you feel me? And like yeah. that, that was my time at Disney, like literally just getting autographed. Yo, I want to go back, man. I want to go back. I like, just don't want to travel again just because the planes and shit. What do you mean? I don't know. I, I hate traveling on planes low key. You don't like planes? Have you ever had a like, near death experience on a plane? Because that shit changes your whole mindset. You had one? Yes, bro. Nah, I never had one. I feel, I when, when I was going to Mexico, right? Yeah. There was a really, really bad turbulence and we were in a storm. Oh, shit. Yeah, and it's funny because like there's a saying. It's like when you're about to die, everyone remembers God, who God is. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's know? fact. So that this is like the only time I was actually scared for my life. Mm -hmm. And my mom was right beside me, right? This turbulence, boom, boom. You know that crazy turbulence? Mm. But imagine 10 times worse. So like uh, the plane is literally rocking. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Like this is it. My mom's clenching my hands like this. I'm like, mom, like I love you. Mm. I literally said that to her. I'm like, mom, I love you. Because I thought it was the end. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she said it back. But then after like, I don't know, shout out to that pilot who was driving us. This guy did like some crazy ass turns to get us out the storm. Damn. Yeah. I've never been in that position, bro. Really? I've never been. That. But I feel like those are the worst because it's like you can't do anything. Yeah. Because for me, if I'm like in a dear death experience, I want to be in control. Like yes, I can do bro. something to change it. Yeah. But when you're just like strapped down, yeah. can't do anything, sit here, mm -hmm. we're going down. If I save us, we're going to save us, you know? Yeah. Then it's like, fuck, I don't know. That's why I fucking hate, um, <laughs> you know, those rides where it's like the drop tower and shit? Oh, bro. I was just going to say, do you like water roller coasters or water slides more? They're like the same, bro. I hate roller coasters because anything, like you said, the, the slingshot shit, what if, yeah. what if a screw? Okay, but that's not a roller coaster. That's more like, um, like, uh, amusement ride okay, it's not yeah. it's not roller coaster it's just i think it's like the track one yeah know what i mean but the the drop tower that goes boom like that mm -hmm. i hate that shit because it's like i can't do anything bro yeah. at least i on a roller coaster you see the direction it's going you know what i mean i don't like being surprised <laughs> no but at the same time roller coasters are mad scary because what if like that shit fly off the track, you feel me? No, it's not. That's why, I, that's why I like water slides better. I don't know why. Because why water slides? <laughs> you ain't even strapped in, bro. No, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm safe with water. How, fam? <laughs> that's the opposite. No, no, cause I'm just thinking Minecraft. Because you know um, how Minecraft, when you land in water, you're, like, you're safe. You're no damage. <laughs> I guess. Because like, no. if I fall in water, like I'm blessed, you know? But if I fall on the ground from a roller coaster, I'm, I'm dead. No, but you're not strapped in. In a roller coaster, you're strapped in, you're blessed, bro. Yo, fam, take this in, take this yeah, in. Yeah. So I was at Wild Water Kingdom with my dad, right? Okay, okay. Bruh. So this was when I was like, I was little. I was, I think I was like five, six years old, yeah. right? I was, I was, I weighed like very little. Uh -huh. I was fucking like maybe like 80 pounds less, less yeah. than that, right? Yeah. So I'm going down, I'm going down the slide, bro. I get stuck on my shit, I'm like on the slide. Cause I'm going like this. I'm like trying to move up, but like, my weight isn't enough to push me yeah, forward. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I know my dad's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, I hear my dad screaming. <laughs> my dad bumps right behind me, bro. Fam, I don't know how the lifeguard allowed him to go. But I'm like struggling. I hear him coming behind me. <laughs> I'm like, F and then boom, hits me. And then he goes through. He passes me. I'm like, oh, shit, what the hell? <laughs>
<laughs> and then I'm there like struggling, trying bro, to keep going. I could just, I could vision that shit in my head, bro. That shit was the funniest <laughs> thing you ever said, bro. Oh my god. Do you manscape, bro? Do you manscape? All the time, bro. Fam. I feel I feel like in today's society, it's mm-hmm. not right to like not. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like doing a disservice. I feel like it's disrespectful to your partner. You're right? It's like you're not shoveling the snow, feel me? Yeah, you're not oh, shoveling the snow on your driveway. That's yeah, exactly, exactly what it's like. It's kind of embarrassing. You pull up. Throw the draws down. It's a bush, nah, bro. Like, bro that's on, embarrassing. Bro. No, like, I feel like down there is the most slept on part. You feel me? Because <laughs> people, people get their nails done. Yeah, that's they get, true. They, they get their their face done. Yeah, but they, they forget about the the, the below. Because yo, as a man, one thing that we really should do. Mm-hmm. Is take care of the package, bro. That's exactly. literally that's literally our batteries. Yeah. Yeah, but have you tried it though? Have you yeah, have you tried the new lawnmower, yeah, bro? Hundred percent, bro. I've been using these Dollarama ass shavers. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when I moved to this, bro, I'm telling you, it was smooth. Because I was using I was using like a shaver before, mm-hmm. like an electric shaver. Yeah. But I once in a while I get like a nick or something. Yeah. This one I had never had a None. nick yet. And bro, that's the thing. Smell Dang. this, fam. Dog. Let me smell this, bro. <laughs> smell this, bro. My balls be smelling like that. <laughs> It's clean. Put your bit on this, bro. You're ready to go. You're ready to go. Here that you know. sneaky link that you have in quarantine? Come on, man. Okay, so they send you the Lawnmower 4.0, which features ceramic blades featuring skin safe technology that are replaceable and precision engineered for maximum confidence while trimming below the waist. So, this Lawnmower 4.0 yeah. features powerful performance, yeah. a premium 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology okay, so in the washroom you're a ninja you're a ninja they're in there bro gonna, and this is not gonna, gonna die on you this is reliable fam come on man so hit that link in the bio you guys can hit up landscape get your package yes, in sir. get your package clean use code jumpers for 20 percent off your purchase with manscape i'm gonna post it up right here yep the link will be down in the description below make sure to click it use code jumpers because usually the lifeguard down there would be like I'm yeah, yeah yeah but yeah. i guess i guess because they didn't they didn't expect me to not make it all the way because i'm so i, I weighed so little yeah yeah so it's like all right you're blessed go i, I think i think that was a, you said wild water kingdom yeah right? that's wild water kingdom yeah my friend my friend uh because he's kind of like he's kind of chunky yeah, yeah. So i think he got stuck he got stuck <laughs> because he was with a tube and it was like oh. one, of, one of those c- cylinder ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was funny because my, my other friend was next. Mm-hmm. And I guess they called Go. That big tube that you see, they were both in it. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, oh. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that, that, that's that's low-key. I'm, I'm scared of that too. Because mm. what if I do get stuck? Yeah. No, um, when you're on vacation, I don't know if it's in Jamaica. Those little um holes that you go in and there's water. And you jump in and it leads you to some next Oh, r- no, reservoir. that's sick. That's sick. That, that's scary, bro. Like, it's rocks, bro. Oh, rocks. No, no, I, I thought you were talking... I seen one before. It's yeah. like a water slide and it takes you to like the sharks and you can see fishes oh, while you're no. in the thing. <laughs> what if it breaks, fam? <laughs> you're blessed, bro. You're no, blessed. No. See, I'm always thinking the worst low key. What? <laughs> I don't know, because I'm I'm a I'm a safe kind of. Well you of can person. swim though, you're blessed. Yeah, you can I can swim. S- yeah, but when fish is near me, I, I hate that shit. Like I hate going uh scuba diving. Yeah. I went I remember I went scuba diving in Mexico. Like, you know, all the all the cousins like, yeah, I mean, just come on and you just mm, have to go. Yeah. Like I hate that shit. But when fish were near me, I'm like, oh shit, like word. Because what if a shark just comes out and bites my ass, bro? I think one of the scariest things ever mm-hmm. is like being trapped underwater. I was gonna say, or being trapped in like an open sea where no one's around you and you're on a boat. Or yo, you know those you know in every like underwater movie or like submarine movie they have that scene where the water's rising up oh yeah and yeah. then like almost to their mouth and, and then trapped. they go under yeah bro tell me every single time like i watch a movie like that you i hold it. my breath yeah i hold my breath like <gasps> yeah <laughs> <laughs> every single time bro and like yeah. I, I feel like that shit gives me anxiety I'm like damn you gotta make it out you gotta yeah. make it out no even even if i'm watching someone stuck on the elevator like the oh no like the infamous uh walls being oh closed yeah in, that one too that i, one too. I get like claustrophobic off that shit oh you're claustrophobic yeah i told you i hate elevators oh shit For, i hate elevators just because it's a tight space mm-hmm. and elevators just because i don't know if it's gonna drop word yeah damn see i'm weird like i i go into like a closet and then just like sit in there for no reason when i was little like i go into like a, a dark little corner <laughs> and then just like read a comic book or some shit really yeah i don't know why no nah, that's kind of weird is that weird or like i'd go like under my bed and then like play like okay yeah i used to do that with a fort but my yo i bet your forts were like hella tiny my forts were mansion yeah yeah living, yeah my, I mean. my forts are small yeah my my forts were literally mansions bro <laughs> like <laughs> yo i think i think the time where i stopped like making forts and shit yeah was when i was like yo i have a room <laughs> 
<laughs> you notice you're like, yeah. Dog, I have a big ass. Why am I? Why am I, why am I making a fort? Yeah. In my room. When I have a room. That kind that of was, makes sense though. That was when I'm like, this doesn't make sense no more. Yeah, it's like it's like you're making a smaller room in a bigger room. Yeah, and yeah. then th- that that's when like the the child in you like dies a little bit. Like, yeah. damn, it's not fun no more. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Or or when um you used to play a uh, doctor and shit. Like you used to reenact shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, role playing back then was fire, dude. <laughs> like I swear, like so, at the cottage and shit, we used to role play as like dogs and shit. Mm. It was like the weirdest shit ever. But like now now thinking of it, it's like Yo, why would we do that? <laughs> but at the time, it was like hella fun. You ever you ever watch like a movie with your class and then yeah. You know when they, they roll in the oh, big TV? In the yeah, big TV? Oh, it's lit. And then everybody gathers up around yeah. the TV and you put the movie on, right? Yeah. Movie starts. Yeah. All of a sudden, a cool character comes on screen. Yo, I call being him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can we, be that guy. <laughs> we always claim, like, yo, if you were the main character, you're not cool. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like placing their bets type shit. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Yeah. Whatever, right? And as the movie goes out, someone dies, like, ah, you died. Hey. <laughs> At recess, you would never remember that? the end of it. Yeah, yeah, you remember that shit? Yeah, of course, bro. Bro, I, I, I want to chase those feelings again. Because certain feelings when yeah. you're a kid, you, you're not going to get that anymore. I know. You're not going to get that no more. I feel like quarantine has made us too, like even with songs. Mm-hmm. Like I go back and listen to the, the classic 2000s pop and hip hop. Mm-hmm. And when you scroll down in the comments, it's all who's here from the uh, quarantine trying to reminisce in their feelings. Yeah. Or who's, who, who's here in uh, quarantine trying to be nostalgic. You yeah. know, I, I swear everyone's trying to chase that again, mm-hmm. especially in quarantine. I don't know if we said this before, but like, yeah. were you were you afraid of a boogeyman or like something in your room before? Like, did you have like a certain creature? Oh, the the Momo. No, when you were a kid though. That, yeah. That's new, no? Isn't that new? Oh, the Moomoo. <laughs> the Moomoo. The Moomoo. Yeah, yeah that's what Moomoo. it's called. Yeah, I don't I didn't even know what it was. I don't know if it's like a pig. In my imagination, it's like a pig or a clown. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it's, it's under my bed if I didn't go to sleep at this time. Where? But all that shit, oh my God. Filipino parents, propaganda. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy. They mess with you, fam. Yeah. In, in my in my mind, I was never afraid of the Moomoo just because yeah. like Moomoo sounded like a cow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, yeah, whatever. It's like a cow. <laughs> right? But like, okay, put yourself back in like, your your seven year old self or mm-hmm. like five year old self, right? Yeah. Sleeping is dark. Mm-hmm. You're scared. Yeah. What creature are you imagining, like in oh, the corner shit. of your room? That's a good question. What are you? What are you imagining? For me, I was always I was never afraid of like ghosts. Particularly, yeah. I was more afraid of demons. Oh yeah, I was afraid of like because I used to read the Bible, right? Mm-hmm. I'd be afraid of the demons, the devil, yeah, like something like that. And I feel like even present to now, yeah. that's still more scary to me than a ghost Word. because it's like, it's something from hell. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like a ghost is trying to, trying to contact somebody. They want to do evil shit to you. Those mm-hmm. demons want to do evil shit to yeah. you. What are you? Like, what no, do you think about? I feel like as a child, I didn't know about all these satanic stuff and the demons. Mm-hmm. All, all it was was just ghosts. Like, you, you know that that typical white blank, put a white blanket over yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, th- That's what I drew. Like, I remember, like, sometimes I had a bad dream. I would draw out what I w- was seeing. And I think mm. that's stored in, like, some... Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. You, you drew what you I saw? I drew it out, yeah. And it was, like, ghosts, like, these weird lines and shit like that. But that's yeah. crazy. But but now, when I got older, it was like, remember what I told you? It's like 12 o'clock demon hour? Yeah. You gotta go to sleep because it's, it's actual demons. And that's when I started getting to paranormal shit. Mm-hmm. And that's the scariest. I hate that shit. Mm-hmm. What was, like, the, the scariest, like, movie you remember when you are growing up? It, it was probably something with clowns. Yeah. Something with clowns. Like, like it or something, right? Yeah, I think I've said this before. It was it. You found... Tell me if I'm wrong. I swear, in any horror movie, yeah. and even to, like, Disney movies and shit, if they don't have music, it, like, holds no power still. Oh, yeah. Holds no power. Soundtrack carries a horror thing. Because yeah. you have to build... You have to build up the, the feelings and emotions. Mm-hmm. Because I was looking at this... Um, is like, a movie study yeah. of, like, all the Disney... You know how they did Raya? The new... The oh, new... Yeah. Like, it's, like, the Asian princess, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Bro... They sussed us so bad because they didn't give her a musical. There was oh, no word. songs in that in that whole movie. Nah. I'm like, damn, they gave Moana a song. They yeah. gave like Frozen song. We and Raya, the Southeast Asian movie, we didn't get any like musical, no nothing. And I feel like that's why the movie is trash. I watched the movie, fam. Yeah. That shit was trash, bro. And then I'm like, you know why? why? It was because of the music. It was yeah. that that it's literally the reason why. And then I look at like horror movies yeah right mm-hmm. when you go to horror movies you hear the oh yeah that's the- like the building up suspense and shit mm-hmm. that literally makes everything yeah and if you bag it mm-hmm. back in the day people didn't have like 
TV or like shit to look at on a screen. Mm-hmm. Everything was on radio, right? Oh yes. So That's remember when people were doing radio shows? Yeah. Not even like, not even like a podcast. I'm talking about like before they were like, oh, a news broadcast, blah blah blah. blah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like. I'm talking like 1940s or whatever, right? Early, early, early. So they would, yo, there was this famous like uh, news broadcast, right? Yeah, yeah. And they talked about it was the end of the world and there was an alien invasion happening. Taking this was live, right? Yeah. This was live. And at the time, you didn't know anything about no pranks, uh-huh. no nothing like that. Okay, okay. People heard that and they thought aliens were outside. They thought like, shit, this is the end of the world. I think it was called War of the Worlds. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. But it was really just like an actor talking about like a story. Yeah. But he made it seem like it was happening live. <laughs> See, but was it a prank though? Or? It was a prank. It was okay. like it was like a prank, but also like um it's kind of like a movie, yeah. but like narrated. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like people are outside dying, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Something yeah. like that. Like, I think this is the end of time, you know? Yeah. So imagine you heard that and then you didn't have no visual. Mm-hmm. You couldn't even like you didn't know anything about pranks before. Yeah, it's it's all about it's all about the music. If you really think about it, go to a haunted house mm-hmm. with AirPods in and play some happy shit. Yeah, and walk through it. I don't it's, think it, it's, it's, it's not scary. It's not gonna affect you. you. Feel me? It's not gonna affect you. Yeah, but but yeah, going back to the Raya, just real quick. Yeah, like if, if they butcher the first Asian superhero movie, now nah, we gotta actually start a petition. <laughs> stop, stop Asian hate. You feel me? What the hell, <laughs> bro? Even Mulan was trash, bro. Mulan was okay. I like Mulan. No Mulan. The live action. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's I, true. Mulan was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Respect to Mulan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they yeah. they did the live action. Yeah. Bro, it ruined the whole movie. Yeah, it's not even Mulan no more. It's just like uh, I don't even Mulan. know. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not even Mulan, bro. Don't kill me. Hey, so, no, I was gonna say those Mulan. <laughs> Stop. But you know um uh, who's that? Shane Dawson? Yeah. I remember they, they they had a bunch of numbers that was I guess paranormal. Mm-hmm. And they, they called it. Oh shit. Right? So they're like, okay guys, we're gonna record us calling these phone numbers. Yeah, yeah. Right? So they called the first number, right? It, it made like a weird sound like a mm. right and then all you hear like i don't know if it was a prank or not but there was a glass that broke in their house in their house yeah nah and, and this no this phone number is actually supposed to be like actually like summon or s- like some spirit what the in fuck, your house bro yo see here, here's the thing right with ghosts with mm. all of these like demons and shit right yeah how does it translate into technology because look 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 right yeah because let's say 1920s no computers mm-hmm. no phone yeah Right? No phone, no like TV, nothing. Now you hear all these ghost stories today. Yeah. Some shit happened with the TV. Some shit happened on the phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some shit happened on like my iPhone picture showed up, whatever, right? Yeah. How did it translate? Does that mean ghosts are getting smarter too? <laughs> yeah, does that mean ghosts are fucking online? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yo, low key? That makes sense. Right? Does that mean ghosts are online? We don't know for sure, but I'm just yeah. saying like ghosts can man- can manipulate electricity now, yeah. electricity yeah right like before that that's a common thing like the lights flickering all yeah, that yeah. fuck that's a ghost you know what yeah. i mean so if they're smart enough to manipulate electricity yeah they got to be smart enough to do technology then right yeah because how are they how are, how are you summoning spirits off of an iphone exactly that makes sense. you don't know where that that um call is being placed it could be in india mm-hmm. you feel me yeah but why, why did it summon just just now does it travel to an electricity line and then go to your house there you go like, no. bro <laughs> right yeah, so so okay what if maybe in like let's say you turn into a ghost okay what if you can send shit like on social media like from the dead yeah. oh my god that'd be so i feel scary. like there's a movie about that or something i would definitely troll if i was a ghost and i had that power i mean that's literally just a hacker though right yeah that is just like a hacker yeah. that is just like a hacker yo that'd be crazy hack yeah, though i know like if someone died and then like you started getting oh my text messages from them it's like i see you in your room bro i'd be scared as fuck yeah imagine you're just on your bed one night and then like oh i see you through your window random random message yeah that's crazy bro i watched this one black mirror episode right Mm -hmm. and then it was this kid he got blackmailed because he was like jerking off in front of his computer yeah and he had the webcam on right oh yeah so he got blackmailed right yeah and then no, he got blackmailed by hackers. Oh, shit. And he got a text message. Okay, you have to do everything we say now because yeah. we have this against your will, right? Yeah. So imagine you take that kind of concept, uh-huh. but instead of blackmail someone, you pretend it's like a ghost. It's like, oh, I see this and that, blah, blah, blah right? Yeah. And then you you manipulate the room, turn off the lights and shit. Yeah. That would be the craziest prank ever. Yo, Nelk, 
That would be the craziest fucking <laughs> prank ever. We should run that, bro. <laughs> like, to be honest, at this point, we talk about so many scary stuff and we watch so many scary movies. We should just direct a scary movie. Yo, I had this one prank I really, really want to do. What? I really... Okay, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. So I had this prank, right? Yeah. So imagine you take like an actor, uh-huh. right? And you put him into like a setting where you're going to walk toward. Okay. Right? And then you make him do like crazy shit and try to interact with someone you're with. Yeah. And you pretend that you don't see them. And then you have other people that are in on the, oh. on the prank that pretends they can't see them either. No, nah, did you see that? They, they, they've done that prank. They've done that? Remember, okay, so there, there would be a guy, right? And they would put a blanket over him. Yeah. And he would be like, in three, two, one, you're going to disappear and you're turn a ghost, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, they take the blanket off, right? Mm. And they're like, yo, yo. And then all everyone would be in on the prank. Yo. And the guy would be like, I'm here, I'm here. That's right? sick. But, but then everyone else is like, where is he? Where's my brother? <laughs> right? So No, no, but this is the funny thing. Yeah. They would go go take a picture with your brother on the couch mm. and they would already pre-take a picture of them. So, of uh, what do you call it? The brother, so there, he's not there. Oh, and shit. And then when he shows them the picture, he's like, oh, he starts crying. Oh, fuck. Damn. You haven't seen those? No, I haven't seen that. Bro, it's so funny. I'll show you, like David Dobrik's done it on um, our I, I don't know what the, the guy's name yeah, is. Yeah. But yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I know. Bro. No, I, you, you ever seen those... Um, the Japanese pranks where they have like a huge mob of people like oh, chasing no, Jap- somebody. <laughs> Bro, Japanese people and take it so next level, fam. I think it's called like a hundred versus one prank yeah, or something yeah. like that, right? So yeah. they have somebody walking down like an alleyway. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> like at the end of the alleyway, you see a mob of people running towards you. <laughs> like hundred, a hundred something people running towards yeah, you. Yeah. And like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> So you start running too, you know what I mean? (laughs) I've seen it. No, but like sometimes it's funny because like that one person would get so scared because they're they're chasing them, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't know how to act. And then I've seen this one video where they all just circle around her. Oh, yeah. Like digest her. (laughs) (laughs) No, that was was the one where like there was one side with people with like baseball bats and chains and shit, right? And then the other side is like people with the same thing. They were going to fight. And there's like a girl in the middle. She like got caught in the wrong time. Yeah, there's like hundred people on both sides, bro. Damn. Those those big mob pranks I like too. Or even um, I remember this one time in New York. Mm-hmm. I forgot it's called. It's like the big city hall where there's a lot of people. Um, that's um with the trains, with the trains. Fuck. Grand Central, Gra- Grand, Grand Central, Central Station, right? So there was this one person who was walking through there, right? Yeah, and obviously there's hella people around. Mm-hmm. So one person starts freezing, like he just stops. Yeah, and then everyone else fr- frozen, fam. Oh, and then this girl's shit. like. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on bro <laughs> cause like then it's like the time stop yeah imagine imagine like time stopped and like your, your time didn't stop for you what would you do bro like that's so sick <laughs> fam I feel like if you did that to the wrong person oh yeah everybody's I, pockets I'm getting rob- hurt that's what I was gonna say I'm robbing everyone in Grand Central Station I'm rich I'm rich that night bro, bro. <laughs> you know me I can just imagine like they picked the wrong person yeah and then he's like Oh shit! Yeah. He's started getting everybody's wallet, <laughs> like free train rides, fam, on me. <laughs> Yo, that'd be the point. Like, I I love it when when pranks turn out like wrong or <laughs> prank, pranks go wrong. How? Like you you know the um, the the trying to sell a water gun in the hood type shit. Oh, those stuff always like that. turn out bad, bro. And then all of a sudden, boom! Yeah. Strap right in front of you, bro. Yeah. You can't do that. Like, you, there's a certain like environment that you can do it. Mm. You feel me? But if you're going around and like making fun of like you know. The guys who are really with it, yeah, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> well, what do you think? What do you think the first prank in history was? Oh, I'm, the, I'm so the, curious. The whoopty cushion? <laughs> no, no, no. There has to, there has to have been like during Jesus's time, like a prank, <laughs> like somebody prank somebody, Imagine like a this. trick or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, there had to have been something, <laughs> Did they, <laughs> you know, because like they still had humor. Feel me? Because yeah. I feel like when we look back at history, we look back at history and think they didn't have humor. Yeah, that's what we think, right? Because mm-hmm. whenever you go into a history class, everything is so serious. Yeah. Anytime you watch a documentary, everything is so serious, right? <laughs> yeah. But you have to bag. They're still human. Yeah. They still had society. They definitely had jokes, right? That's why you ever heard that theory of um how all the Greek statues Cats? have really small dicks, huh? They have really small genitalia. Have you noticed oh, that? Oh, really? Oh. I mean, I haven't been like, looking at it. No, like, no, all of the, all of like the, you know, the, the Athena, like, yeah. Plato's, all of these statues, like <laughs> Michelangelo's work, right? Yeah. Every single one of them had really, really small genitalia. So you think they did that on purpose? No, apparently, yeah. apparently it was just a joke. Like they yeah. did it, they did it for amusement oh, just to make fun of it. <laughs> That's jokes, Like, yo, it's a swap day. 
<laughs> now looking back, it's like, yeah, low key. Why did they all have small? Teeth? Right. Yeah. That's the same thing. I, th I said this before, but like the, the, cats, the cats, right? Yeah. Egyptians definitely just thought cats were funny, fam. They did not think like... <laughs> yeah, because in, in, in your history books, does it really give the symbolism of a cat? I don't think I've heard any history teacher really explain what the cat meant. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, they like, they put they put a face on a, a huge cat's body yeah, and yeah. it's a huge freaking monument. Yeah. Nah, bro, this it, is it, just for jokes. But yeah, if, if you're in elementary school, ask, uh, <laughs> go question your history teacher. What What's the symbolism of a cat? And he probably won't even tell you. Yo, yo, so I you. heard this thing, right? I heard this, it's kind of like a theory, but more of like a, people just think about it. Yeah. Apparently there's a, like an alien race of like cat beings. And cat beings? so take this in, right? They thought, they thought like the aliens that came here, yeah. apparently they had like faces of a cat or like they resembled cats. Oh, word. I forgot the exact name. It starts with an L. I think it's called the Lyrans, the Lyrans or yeah. some shit. Uh -huh. And supposedly it's like an alien race. Yeah. And they're the ones that gave them their technology, taught oh. them how to like do everything, make the pyramids and shit. I was going to say, cause like, if you really connect it, cats, if they thought it was cats, mm -hmm. the aliens that made the pyramids mm -hmm. were the cats. Exactly. And they, they, they made a they statue made of a cat, right? Yeah. That but then again, cool. like we never know for sure. But I, I heard, I read that like some Egyptians, Feel like the world was created out of laughter so you know um those hieroglyphics yeah that they all carve out mm -hmm. they probably did some comedy sketches like entertainment yeah entertainment for entertainment they definitely carved some funny shit on there i guess yeah I don't that know, we would that we would probably think like oh that's something secret but no nah, it's just like something funny yeah no that's true though that's yeah. true there has to have been that's what i'm saying going back to what we're saying like yeah. there had to have been humor and entertainment yeah right like what do you think was the first prank like what do you think was the first um Form of entertainment. We had gestures and shit. Yeah. Okay, bro, I have a story for you, right? Yeah. I had like this lucid dream, fam. Okay. And I feel like it might have been this is similar to Josh's story, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I was just thinking about Josh's story. <laughs> That's why I dreamt it that night. Yeah. But bro, I had this dream. Mm -hmm. I was like walking around. It was a it was a it was like a festival. Okay. No, it was like a ball. It was like a early century ball everybody was wearing dresses and shit yeah, yeah. like renaissance era right mm -hmm. bro and then i'm walking around i'm like why am i so short yeah why am i so short to the ground like the table's like this high i'm like george shrinks bro i'm i'm a dwarf <laughs> like i'm i'm short yeah so i'm like yo what is this right mm -hmm. and i i i woke up yeah i woke up fam first of all that dream that dream felt so real Word. it felt like it literally felt like past life type shit bro just yeah. like just like what josh said right okay but i feel like i, I just dreamt that because i, I thought josh <laughs> okay, yeah fam so i went on google mm -hmm. i googled it i'm like why who 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 could have this been right i googled yeah. like um dwarves in like the renaissance mm -hmm. or like early yeah. century right mm -hmm. and supposedly just like jesters yeah they had like dwarves for entertainment so maybe in my past life i was an entertainer bro Word. <laughs> I mean, you are entertaining right now, so it would all click up. You feel me? No, well, when you said that, when you said that, I was only imagining there's a there's an art museum in yeah. New York, right? And it, everything is big. Yeah. So like the tables, you would walk around like a kitchen, mm. and you, you would like be a, a small person. Yeah. You feel me? Like everything would be big. the t the chairs, the oven, everything. Mm. You should visit it if you're out in New York. That, that's like one of those optical illusions. Yeah, right? yeah. Optical illusions. Yeah. Do you think there's optical illusions that they made? like early like in history what do you mean like do you think i don't i don't know if there is any but you know how they have like the hieroglyphics and shit yeah do you think they made shit a certain way to look bigger than they are or maybe they held, they held some secrets to like hide stuff maybe right shit, i don't know like well what do you think the stone hedge hedge was for with huge rocks like yeah. literally the as tall as our house okay i mean in a circle oh okay. you know what i'm talking stone hedge yeah, stone yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And um, Easter. Um, no, that's Easter Island. Oh, okay, that's, okay. Easter, that's why I, I'm getting it mixed up. Yeah, yeah. But there's another one. It's just literally like a circle. Where? It's literally like a circle with like big ass rocks. Like, what do you think that was for, bro? A marker for the UFOs to land, right? <laughs> you don't. I don't know, fam. That's why so many people think like maybe giants ruled the world before. Yeah. Because there's so many stories of giants, right? Mm, yeah. Even in like ancient Greek mythology. Mm -hmm the gods or like the titans you heard of that mm -hmm. they're all giants yeah so it would make sense because even to this day they still can't explain how they made the pyramid and we still with our technology today scientists said we cannot create the pyramid again mm -hmm. yeah why can't we create the pyramid again shit maybe they knew something that we didn't i don't know bro even the monoliths though because i 
after you told me that the monoliths are just like a no that was just like a propaganda that was like a marketing scheme <laughs> but at first i was like yo what are these things mm. you know i, I dead ass thought that the aliens were about to come and yeah, kill yeah, us. yeah you feel me mm. yeah that would be a, a fire ass prank from the aliens though yeah yo this is getting like deep into conspiracy now like yeah. imagine certain things were put to make us question right mm-hmm. like maybe maybe the pyramids or maybe like crazy things we've seen in the world yeah. were meant just to get a reaction out of us mm-hmm. right they don't, they don't symbolize anything they don't symbolize yet. anything imagine that's a cool little thought right because because we think like i said back in history we're thinking all of these people they were so serious they were like very professional mm-hmm. oh bro like they still had fun yeah right they still thought like us they still they still had like scheme they were clever yeah and i mean they're clever people mm-hmm. that's why i was like yo like, even like the ghost shit bro like what if they're not they're not entirely bad they, 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 they just want a reaction out of us like ghosts yeah that's what i yeah, said yeah you know yeah what if what if ghosts are just trying to like prank us and yeah shit? yeah exactly right exactly like, like if nelk f- turns into ghosts or f- yeah, <laughs> they, yeah, go, exactly. they that's, go prank us every day that's what i'm saying like if you really want to if you want to prank people at the ryerson go go to the theater and pretend there's ghosts there because yeah there, there actually is is, it, is it no i never heard yeah, of so, that so the ryerson theater school yeah there's these cold spots mm. in the theater that that's known for, and like uh, i guess like there's winds in the theater Word. like the, the all the windows are closed but there's winds oh you shit. feel me and, and like there was a tale that one girl who's rehearsing before mm. left because she saw something no way and then and then they sent the toronto ghost society i think to wait go- there's a toronto ghost society yeah, the there's, a, there's a toronto there's a toronto ghost and research society no way are you yeah, serious yeah. that's yeah. a real shit yes bro <laughs> in 2008 fam they, they they sent them in and you know what they heard they heard muzzles of like voices oh, and they shit. heard like noises what the fuck we should join it the toronto like, ghost society and research society yeah yo loki i want to like interview let's let's go interview yeah them we should shit. we should that'd be sick because like even if we um go and and vlog those abandoned places mm-hmm. like you know queen's park the tunnels of queen's park oh yeah and casa loma Castle oh Lo- yeah no i heard stars, i heard casa loma that white dress lady mm-hmm. is there she's there mm, i heard that i heard that and like you can hear her cries and stuff that's what people are saying yeah that's fucked bro and like yo, there's one in the tunnels right mm-hmm. people have said that she they saw her hanging oh shit like dog imagine we vlog this is great content yeah <laughs> but at the same time it's like vlog man i don't because want- like I'm down, mm-hmm. but I still don't want to like get involved. You know what I mean? Because yeah. as fun as it is, it's only fun for me. Like if it, if I'm not getting involved, oh, like, yeah. You guys watching, you guys get a laugh at this. Shit. Exactly, but because you you know those stories of how did you know like the first people that found King Tut's tomb? Yeah. Oh, where every single person that was present died. Oh, fuck. tragically. Oh, some shit. died from car accidents. Some died from sickness. Everything. Yeah. The people that took the coffin of King Tut. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Damn, like, you you hear this all the time. Shit is cursed. Yeah. Annabelle, you know what I mean? Like, there's definitely some supernatural shit out there mm-hmm. that you should not be playing with. Yeah, it's generational, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like there's a, there, I think um in Phoenix, there's a cursed doll, right? Yeah. And that, I, I guess something, someone took it. But but that family, that whole generational family has had bad luck. Damn. Like, it's always been bad. That sucks, yeah. bro. That mm-hmm. sucks. Because the, the, the scary movies that scare me the most mm-hmm. are the... Um, the freaking, I f- what was it where they had the house and then like the new people moved in and they found something in the attic and that shit was haunted. Oh, that, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm talking about? I, we watched this together. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like those type of movies, that scares me the most. This <laughs> is like for all this, all these years you've been living here, you didn't know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right? It's crazy. That yeah. shit scares me. Yeah. Because um, I remember watching this. You remember? Yeah, George Shrinks. Yeah, George Shrinks. I remember George Shrinks. There's this scene where they found like a hidden door. Yeah. They didn't know about this whole time they've been living there. Right. So, but I, I feel like those things, it's so it's so fun. Like, I want to do that myself. I want to like find something like, whoa, this whole time. Yeah. Right? And uh-huh. then you open it and then they found like all of these different trinkets and shit. That's, yeah. I think that's dope too. Have you ever explored like your attics? Nah, well, like we did maintenance and shit okay, like yeah. that. There's nothing to explore, feel me? No, nah, because in, in my house, yeah. I remember I was sleeping one night, right? It was midnight mm-hmm. and there was a tapping in my attic, like, doom, doom, doom. Oh, what and the? I was f- like, oh, fuck, right? Yeah. I didn't tell my dad. I was like, okay, it's probably some raccoon, mm-hmm. some shit up there. And then I, kept hearing it every single night at the same time damn and i was like no it's got to be like some type of scroll up there bro yeah and i was like don't don't do but you hear like mm-hmm. right and then and then it went away for a week right? yeah. came back again 
dum, dum, dum. I was like, bro, why is it always happening past 12? That's crazy, bro. And then and then we never we never really found out what it was. Mm. Yo, do you think ghosts keep track of time then? They have to. Well, maybe they're playing a prank. It's like, oh, it's, it's night. Let's oh, get yeah, that, maybe that's why, right? <laughs> Let's get them again. Because I feel like, you know how they say like three o'clock shit will happen? Yeah. Because my uncle told me this story before. Uh -huh. He said he was like, um, this was at his old house he was living at. Yeah. He said every single time, three o'clock, he would feel something touch his toes and the phone would go off, bro. The phone would go off, man. No, okay, that's Every specific. single three o'clock. Yeah. Three o'clock. He blocked the number, but it would still call. What? Okay, that's too specific. <laughs> three o'clock, three o'clock, right? <laughs> and he felt something touch his toes? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> He's nah. That was our fam. That means, that means like ghosts keep track of time then, right? Yeah. They have to. Yo, you ever, you ever look into like the, the date you were born? Like the time you were born? You know it? You know it or not? I think it was like, no, I actually don't know. So you know, um, you know all the uh, astrology shorties and shit. Oh, yeah, right? I have a funny story. Go ahead though. Yeah, so all these uh, astrology shorties, <laughs> they they say like, oh, it depends on your birth, your birth date, and yeah. like the time you were born. You could be like a Aquarius rising, blah blah, blah yeah, and yeah. then like this because you were born at this time, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, damn. And then um, they say you can you can find out who your past life was, right? Yeah. So bro, so there's this story that there was this kid. And he had like a huge scar, like a birthmark on his face, right? Yeah. Born with a huge birthmark on his face. So as this kid grew older, he found, or he, he told his parents about how he was killed in his past life. Yeah. He was murdered. Yeah. And he said, follow me, follow me. And he brought the parents like across the village yeah. to this house with a man. And he said, this is the man that murdered me. Take him with us and I'll show you where I'm buried. Huh? So- they followed him into the woods. Like this is like a mile away from civilization. Yeah. They dug up the thing mm -hmm. and they found the skull of his past life. And the skull had a crack right where the kid had his birthmark. What? Oh, so shit. he had the same, like the same mark where the skull was damaged. So how did he know where the body was and how did that match up to his face. So that's his ghost? That's his, his past life. His oh. So he's reincarnated into that kid with that oh. birthmark. So that birthmark theory that we said is kind of true. Kind of. that's when you died. Yeah, yo, yo, okay. Yeah. I, have, I have a really good one. I have a really okay, good okay, one. Okay. So, so there's a theory mm -hmm. that Tupac was reincarnated as Playboy Cardi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right, listen, bro. Listen, yeah. man. So, yeah. so we know Tupac died September, I think September 13, yeah. right? In 1993. Uh huh. So, Tupac was shot, right? Yeah. And supposedly he got shot in his cheek. In his face, yeah. In his cheek. Uh huh. Playboy Cardi, <laughs> born September 13, 1993, no! and he has the, the birthmark on his cheek, bro. No, what? <laughs> nah, no, no more Playboy Cardi slam. That's Tupac, bro. Bro. Nah. I don't know this, this is like a theory, but like still, that'd be sick. That's a crazy coincidence, right? How they died and like reborn on the same day. Yeah. Kind of what the hell? I know. So I I played I played a little bit into the game, right? Yeah. I didn't know my time, the time of a birth yeah. for me. Okay, but I did my birth date. Yeah. So I put um famous celebrities that died on February eighth, my yeah, birthday, I, right? We did this together. So I did this, right? Yeah. So I searched it up and I saw all of these different people, right? Mm -hmm. And I went down. By going like, okay, past life of them, past life of them, past yeah, life of them. Yeah. Okay. Because I know if, if it's like a line, right? Uh -huh. Let's say you're this past life, yep. this past life, and your birthday lines up with someone else's time of date. That means yeah. it's connected to this path, okay. connected to this path, right? Mm -hmm. So I followed the path, bro. And one of them on my birthday uh -huh. died was a radio host. No a famous radio. Host. See, I was gonna say before you end the story, I was gonna guess an entertainer, or some movie director, <laughs> or some athlete. Bro, it was it was like a radio host. I'm like, oh shit, Word? on my birthday. I have to dig into that shit too, man. <laughs> what if? What if? What on if? My what, birthday. what if? My shit is also radio. It, 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 <laughs> that'd be crazy. This that'd podcast be crazy. was meant to happen. Yeah, that'd be you, crazy. You feel me? But no, I, like when I was born, it's November 11, mm. 2000, right? Yeah. So November 11, 11, 11. Oh, yeah. And you know, you know, um, I, I self proclaim this. Like, I'm the lucky child. Mm. Like, everything in my life has happened for a reason. Like, I'm, ha I'm hella lucky yeah, when, yeah, yeah. when it comes to situations. And whenever I tell that to, like, shorties and shit, they're like, oh, my God, one, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? And but you like, got to text them at 11, 11. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> but no, it's like even um when I was popping champagne for my my um twentieth birthday. Yeah, yeah. Remember what happened? And we searched this up after. I I sprayed it. Yeah. At everyone, but the most champagne <laughs> landed on Carlos. I don't know why. And, and this was this was a, a week before we started the podcast. Oh yeah. And 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 that there's a theory that that champagne shower. Yeah. Whoever it lands on it most is gonna like have good luck in the next like That's weeks. crazy. And, and what happened? The the Christmas theory went viral. Oh that yeah. Week. I remember that Bro I'm the lucky child <laughs> No because I remember like You did the freaking champagne yeah. shit I'm like bro It, it only went on me I, I, was, I was cheese I was I didn't wasn't thinking about that shit yeah. I was cheese I'm like why did it land on me Yeah yeah It was funny I saw the video or some shit It was like I was like yo it went on me bro <laughs> And you look at me, I'm like drenched. Yeah, you're drenched, bro. And like, I don't know why I sprayed it to everyone, but I don't know why it only landed on Damn. And that's crazy because that, that was me spraying it on you. Pause. <laughs> but like, 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 we're in this podcast together now. You yeah, yeah, yeah. We for lifers, bro. Damn. Yeah. Maybe maybe because I, I love looking at like coincidences and shit. Coincidences. Oh, love that shit, bro. Yeah. Like love I love that shit. I just love lo even just like the past life thing. Yeah. Cause it's fun to just even think about. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter if it was true or not, mm -hmm. but it's fun like it, it gives another narrative to something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it gives something spectacular to think about. Yeah. Just like you know when you have a family sword in the medieval times. You oh, know, yeah. you know how like they pass down a sword like oh, yeah, this yeah. was by your grandfather that fought a war, uh -huh, blah yeah. blah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, yeah. So Low key, I want to. I want to do something like that too. Just mm -hmm. give something like a physical object with a story to it. Oh, shit. for everybody to remember the headphones, <laughs> like your kid. This yeah, is, low, low this key, is like historical. Th this this shit could be historical. Yeah. No, because if you really think about it, like the stuff that's happening right now is gonna go down in history. Like mm -hmm. we're gonna look back at it. Yeah. Right now we're just living in the moment. Like we're just enjoying this shit. But really, if you look back, like when we're like twenties or mm -hmm. even thirties, yeah, we're like, yo, we actually did that. Yeah, because take in. <clears throat> Virgil Abloh, yeah. Kanye West, right? Mm -hmm. We see them as present day like creatives, yeah. but in actuality, they are the they are our current like Michelangelo, Leonardo, Da Vinci. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. They are those people just present. So maybe like centuries down the line, yeah. they're still gonna look at them as pioneers. Mm -hmm. They look at Ed Edgar Allan Poe, bro. Yeah. I mean the poet. They still look at him. That wasn't that long ago. I know. So it's only still a study him. Yeah, exactly. We still study him. Yeah. So you don't think they're going to be studying Kanye? Bro, they're going to be studying Virgil, Kanye, Drake. They're still going to be studying them. Yeah, right? That's going to be It's cool. crazy. And then, and then imagine you have like a piece of merch or like Kanye's headphones. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Virgil Abloh's pen or mm -hmm. some shit. Yeah. That's going to go down in history. Facts. Go buy our merch now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that makes sense. So it's like ancient artifacts that we think is at the present mm -hmm. it's not ancient now yeah. but later in the future it could be mm -hmm. so now it's like everything is an investment mm -hmm. so it's like oh really really think what what is going to do good in the future or is it going to blow up and you just invest in that yeah and you know what i feel like especially right now yeah. 2020 2021 this kind of like covid era mm -hmm. this pandemic era is such a it's such a crazy year. It holds so much value yeah. compared to other years. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like if you're getting get a shirt, you would want it to say 2020 or 2021. You know yeah. what I mean? But bro, I seen some shit on TikTok. It was like the guy got a plastic bag and he went outside and got the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to keep and, it. The, and the men's were like, nah, don't release that shit because it's going to start COVID again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's facts though. That's or, facts. Or there was this guy with a bandaid. Oh no, the, the vaccine bandaid. Yeah. Right? With the blood on it. Mm -hmm. Some guy put that away and everyone was like, nah, don't, don't, Keep that shit. I know. That's gonna shit will dead start COVID again. You know I mean? Yo, freaking remember when Josh's episode? Yeah. He talked about this theory that the reason the zombie apocalypse will start mm -hmm. is because of like a disease that was trapped in Antarctica yeah. or a long, long time ago in the ice, right? Trapped in the ice. Mm -hmm. Bro, I think like in last month, yeah. they found a study of these new bacteria. In zombie bacteria in the ice in the ice josh <laughs> predicted it he said it on the podcast and all of a sudden it's real this is like real information like you can search this up Holy like a shit. zombie like bacteria yeah like this is real they found it in antarctica or like I, f I feel like it was one of those north polar antarctica uh -huh. fam they found bacteria <laughs> that was locked away in the ice just like Josh said, bro. Nah. Josh manifested that <laughs> no, shit, bro. No. Josh, bro. I'm telling you, he's on a watch list now. <laughs> and you know what else he said? What? He said somehow it's gonna break out into the into those people that are in Antarctica. Then it then since all of those people are from different countries, yeah, it's gonna travel over. Huh. So hopefully Josh is wrong. Yeah. Hopefully Josh is wrong. 
If he's right, that could be the zombie apocalypse oh, right oh. there. We're See, living the walking dead. Maybe he did manifest that. And it goes back to like, yo, can you manifest bad shit? I remember um a few days ago, I was with my friend and he always, like his energy was so off. Mm. Right? He always like, yo, I feel like I'm going to fucking get in a car accident. That's I'm like, I'm like, bro, why are you saying this? Why are you putting this out in the world? Right? Yeah. So we were going home, right? On the highway. Literally, this, got, this car randomly, open space. A car came randomly in front of us, we had to slam the brakes. Oh my it was god! So, I'm telling you, that was probably the most. Because if if it hit us, we would have spun. Oh my god! Bro. You feel me? So do, I don't know why he said all this shit. Like it was That's bad. Messed up. It was all bad energy that night. Because I was reading this book. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's the book I posted a picture with actually. If yeah. you guys pay attention, yeah. it's called um think think and grow rich, right? Yeah. And in in one of the chapters, it's telling me, even if you. It, it works both ways. Yeah. You can manifest good and you can manifest bad. Yeah. The thing is, if if you, th it depends on your mindset. Mm -hmm. Like if you think positive, you're going to manifest positive. Yeah. But if you think negative, you're going to manifest negative. But everybody still has those negative thoughts once in a while, right? Yeah. Am I right? Like mm -hmm. no matter who it is, you'll, you'll have those negative thoughts once in a while. Mm -hmm. So this book in the chapter, it's saying, it's trying to train me to stop thinking negative thoughts that might, suppress the positive because mm. as as you're manifesting the good yeah you still have like the doubts the yeah. fucking the negative thoughts that come up right mm -hmm. in order to reap the benefits of the good yeah you have to eliminate the negative completely and that's hard that's probably a good book because mm -hmm. it's actually hard to to get those because obviously like you said it's inevitable to have negative thoughts yeah because it's inevitable yeah so you got to find a way to deal with what, it. what's one thing that it told you that that really stuck out okay so one remember? one thing one thing that it's very, very important. This is all of manifestation mm -hmm. is confidence in yourself. Okay. Confidence in yourself and confidence in you. Yeah. I mean, confidence in you as in like- Don't half-ass it. <sighs> confidence is like, you You can be confident person. You know I mean, yeah, yeah. go out, talk to everybody. You look very strong, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's like a fake it till you make it thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like you, you're there on the outside, but the you, mm -hmm. like the internal isn't the same energy. Right. The internal may be a little bit Oh, should I say this? Yeah. You know what I mean? You feel me, right? <laughs> I, you I do it all the time. Everybody, everybody does that. Yeah. Everybody does that. Everybody has that kind of like doubt in their head. Mm -hmm. So that is the is the you I'm talking about. I say yourself and then you. So the you I'm saying is the, the true confidence where no matter what you do, no matter what you say, I believe in you. I believe in me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it doesn't matter what action I do. It's a hundred percent. No matter what thing I say, I know I meant to say it like that. Yeah. Like, I don't care if I fuck it up. I meant to say it like that. That's how it's going to be said. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That so makes sense. that's kind of like this, the way you have to manifest is where you eliminate the negative by completely destroying it and leaving that like negative side of you mm -hmm. out. So the only thing left is this super confident person, yeah. this super confident mindset that can't be destroyed. And that's where you get the real benefits of everything. Yeah. I think that was first year university because I was a shy kid all of high school. Mm -hmm. Right. But when I started just going out and like trying to put on this fake persona of like, okay, I'm confident. But it, on the inside, on I'm the still inside like, is different. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh shit, man. Like mm -hmm. when I go home, I'm still that shy kid. Right. Mm -hmm. But then I started talking to people and growing confidence. Mm -hmm. There's confidence in myself. You do it more and more. Yeah. You're, you're easy talking to everyone. See, that's why, that's why you see a lot of shy people, mm -hmm. but they're still very mentally strong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they, a lot of them, they have very strong confidence in their you and like mm -hmm. the internal, but maybe on the outside, just the, they don't show it. Because like when I'm in these big business meetings, because mm -hmm. I'm 20 years old yeah. and I work at like a finance department. Mm -hmm. When I'm in this meeting with all a bunch of 50 year olds, you know, yeah. trying to talk, like I have to flip the switch. Even though I'm shy, I have to flip that switch and act confident when I'm presenting. Exactly. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like like... I can take on anything on this world because I'm confident in myself and mm -hmm. I can go do it. Exactly. That's the one thing I want like my my younger si siblings mm -hmm. to, to make out because like you can do whatever you want if you're confident. Yeah, and that's you can facts. Talk to people. That's so facts. Yeah. All right, let's end it there. Yeah, let's end it there, bro. All right, that was a good episode. Yes, All right, sir. um, if you haven't already, join our Discord link yep. in bio. Check out my new vlog channel yes, or sir. like just check out my new channel. Yeah, I'm yeah. posting vlog and be posting like nostalgia tripping mm -hmm. on there. Yep. Check that out. And any more announcements? No, just so subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications notifications i feel like we don't say that enough i know yeah put, <laughs> turn on those post notifications <laughs> hit that like, like button video. like the video as much times as you can you feel me all that good stuff thank yep. you so much appreciate the support yep jumpers jump out deuces